Now to breaking news. Late today, Republicans released details of their long-awaited replacement plan for Obamacare, and Nancy Cordes is following this. Nancy? Scott, there is one thing and one thing only that lawmakers are doing this evening, and that is reading through this 66-page bill that was just released by Republican leaders. Some key details are still missing, but here's what we can tell you. First of all, the bill would provide tax credits to help Americans buy insurance. Full credits would go to individuals making under $75,000 a year and families making under $150,000 a year, and those credits would taper off for people making more than that. Now, how generous are these credits? How do they compare to Obamacare's tax credits? That I can't tell you because the congressional aides briefing reporters wouldn't tell us, and they also couldn't say how expensive this bill would be. It sounds like they are still crunching some important numbers. Now, the bill would also, they say, freeze enrollment in Medicaid and put a cap on Medicaid grants going to states. Again, we are awaiting figures on what that cap would look like. As you know, Obamacare significantly expanded the Medicaid program a few years ago. The aides also tell us that no taxpayer funds would go to plans that cover abortion. The plan would also maintain some popular provisions of Obamacare, including protecting people with pre-existing conditions and allowing people to cover their children until the age of 26, Scott. Nancy Cordes at Capitol Hill and a great deal more about this on CBS This Morning tomorrow.